Oh, I'm gonna probably cry this video. No, no, not I mean, I, we know I am. No. Uh, you. Oh, it's that. Said, oh. Love you, visit love. Oh. Well, that was very. Did it go in a special? <gasps> died at the age of 46. She graced the cover of National Geographic. So today we're going to check out Coco the Gorilla. Of course, I've come across Coco myself on my internet. What are they called? Wormholes. You know those wormholes you fall down? Is that the right term? Rabbit holes, not wormholes. They're different things. You know, I think it pops up on everybody's homepage a couple of years ago, for sure, the Coco the Gorilla. It was this gorilla that was, I think, living with humans and trained to communicate using sign language. And over the course of Coco's life, she, I think it was a she, met lots of celebrities and very interesting people. And today we're gonna look at a couple of those highlights check out there. I definitely haven't seen it all and I did find it fascinating when I went down this little rabbit hole. Before getting into today's video, do be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Otherwise, the next time you go to bed, you're not going to be able to sleep. That's a simple but effective curse. So like, share, comment, subscribe to avoid such an unfortunate, more than inconvenience really. That's quite dark, that one. Who is that? Oh, I remember her. I think me there. Okay, that is you. Gorilla. Animal. Coco Love. Okay, that's very good. That is you. You are a lovely animal. How can you be mean to animals? They couldn't have known that their intimate friendship would shatter century old stereotypes. What was and her name? Forever our outlook of both gorillas and ourselves. Coco has a, a very strong sense of self. She um, feels she's important. She's got a strong ego. She's playful, very, can be very silly. <laughs> a quick spin. A quick, a really quick spin. And then once you're good and dizzy. So pure. Send you off. Oh, she's dizzy. She's got a good sense of humor. Oh, no. A monster! A monster coming to get me! <gasps> You're so intelligent. She can be very stubborn, uh, very s willful. Finish. You are not finished. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> you are not finished. Try <laughs> arguing with a gorilla. I am. Please pick those up. Coco, you are very good at that. Please pick them up. Please. Their relationship is like no other. Penny and Coco are the first human and gorilla to share a common so language. Strong. Penny taught Coco to speak sign language. Play with them after you help. Okay? Oh, I'm going to probably cry this video. No, no, not I mean, I, we know I am. No? What? Their exchanges, their conversations were enchanting and quickly revealed the power language has to build a bridge between our species. Then you go and you bring those papers. Penny armed Coco with a powerful tool that allowed her to speak as an ambassador on behalf of her endangered species. Gorilla. Aw, be like a Astonishingly, Coco is willing to provide us a window it's into like a her life. It's like a massive baby. And her heart. Who could have imagined that a gorilla could fall in love with a kitten, search for a mate, and yearn to be a mother. The kitten, I remember the kitten. Us ...to acknowledge that we share this world with other intelligent animals. When I tell people that we have the same number of hairs per square inch as great apes, they go, no, that's impossible. Wow. Or that we have the same blood types. Wow. Oh, you know, that's Can you give blood to a gorilla? It's all true. At first, I think it was almost like, oh, if I do this, then they give me stuff. That was what she got out of it initially. Learning vocabulary was a beginning, but in order to have a conversation, Coco had to learn how to use her new language. Coco proved an adept student. Everyone was amazed at how well the little gorilla was catching on. I think within two weeks, Coco was using sign language. I couldn't believe it. Wow.
People are able to train their dogs to use buttons nowadays to teach them how to do... I'll show you Chewie's tricks at the end of this video. He's very clever. Not like the most clever. There's a dog called Bunny on TikTok and like that dog can do like buttons and buttons. To be honest, Chewie is probably super clever. I just haven't unlocked all the cleverness, but yeah. Over the next months and years, Coco's vocabulary grew to over 200 signs. Coco was making unprecedented strides wow. and national news. Penny Give me to report the little five-year-old could not only talk, but was redefining our concept of gorilla intelligence. Coco has performed consistently at a level um, about a year behind a, a child her age. So that she, when you calculate an IQ, which is a ratio, comes out about 85, and 100 is normal, quote, normal. You pay how you feel? I feel nice. You there. Okay. Something that annoys me when it comes to these massive developments in understanding animals is when people come along and they say, oh, the animal is only doing it to get the thing that it wants. Well, yeah, that's what humans do as well. We only communicate primarily, initially, to get the things that we want. It doesn't make the communication any less. Like people say, oh, the dog is just hitting the buttons because it remembers the button to hit. To yeah, so it's communicating. Coco is doing this because it knows it means gorilla. It's communicating. She had been given a voice and used it freely to convey her wants and her needs. Why would I owe you a nut? Because you're good? Oh. Chase in. Chase where? Your toilet. Do go. Did it go in a special? <gasps> Do you sleep? Oh my god. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's her to sleep. The obvious emotions that Coco so close. in the beginning were crying, distress, laughing. Oh, tickling her was just, is so funny. You gorilla, tickle, catch. Okay. <laughs> All the subtle emotions are there. Um, the guilt. <laughs> what happened? Broke bad, hungry bad. Oh, honey. Coco love. Oh, all right. We'll make up. I give you a kiss. Thank you. One of her favorite books is The Three Little Kittens. Coco would ask Penny to read it again and again. Oh, the kittens. The kittens, I remember this. This is amazing. There was something in the story that seemed to touch Coco. Eventually, Coco asked Penny for a real kitten of her own. Coco has impacted people so gentle. Um, in a sort of a, at a mass level because of that image. The reason that it's so it stands out in people's memories is because there's an emotional surprise there. There's a giant gorilla with a tiny, tiny, tiny helpless kitten and being gentle and loving toward that kitten. Coco rhymed a name for her new kitten. She called him All Ball, because to her, the cat looked like a little ball. Oh, I didn't know that. That's so cute. Coco adored All Ball, and they spent oh, countless hours playing together. Although Coco had experienced love and loss, Penny discovered that in time, her wounds could heal. The kitten died. Soon, boxes and baskets of kittens began to arrive. Did all ball die? I think I remember hearing before it died. I think they've cut that sad bit out of this video, which I'm okay with. The world was trying to help Coco find a new feline friend. Oh, the little troubles. Oh, oh the little troubles. Oh, little troubles. Yeah. Yeah. New friends for Coco. Coco loved playing with all of them, but finally chose another tailless kitten she named Smokey. Aww. Today, Coco and Smokey remain two of the world's most extraordinary friends. I think this is an old video. 
Mr. Rogers. How do you say love? Oh. For sign language. Oh, how do he's you say so love? gentle. Can you show him how to say love? How do you say love? What? That flower. She's asking you about your cufflink. Is that a flower? That's a sun. And my grandfather That's gave me sun. that. sun. It looks like a flower, though. It does look like can a we flower. Talk, can we talk a little bit about love? Brown? Oh, honey. What? Love? Love you. Love. Oh, it's love. Oh. Love you, visit, love. Oh. Well, that was very nice. Thank you, Coco. She loves Coco. He's such a gentle. We shared something extraordinary. Laughter. Coco understands spoken English and uses over a thousand signs to share her feelings and thoughts about daily events. Life, love, even death. It was awesome and unforgettable. Adopt you. <laughs> she can't break her glasses. She's wearing them. Oh my gosh, Coco is so clever. She went away and then she looked out the window and she looked great. They actually look very nice. <laughs> Turn out the window just like <laughs> you so pure. Okay, where where should you guys all go? Into the kitchen or in tickle. Tickle. She wants you to tickle. Tickling a gorilla. I wouldn't know yep, where to that'd start. Be good. Or in the thighs. Mm -hmm. She likes that. Tickle. You'd just be like a little bit afraid because they're so strong as well. Tickle. You tickle. Tickle. He's not the best tickler. She's trying to show him like how to tickle. Coco knows. She, she picked the one I think it is. Coco, the beloved gorilla known for her warm personality and sign language skills, has died at the age of 46. She graced the cover of National Geographic twice. She was friends with Mr. Rogers. Love you. Oh, it's that? Okay. Oh. Love you, visit, love. Oh. Well, that was very nice. Thank you, Coco. And Robin Williams called meeting her a mind-altering experience. Tickle. Please. Tickle. Go. Like Coco the best to people in the early 1970s. Do you think mommy's upset? <laughs> Chewie's here and he knows I'm like emotion. Do you want to come up, pal? It's happy emotional. Is it? He's such a he is such a feeling dog. It's so funny. That's it for today. I mean, kind of a nice one there, huh? I feel all happy inside and like kind of sad at the same time but yeah just a nice little something to keep you going this week thank you so much guys that's it for today see you on the other side okay sit good boy paw paw sit high five and uh, what other one can we do turn around and we're learning, we're learning lay down, lay down. Yay! He did it for you guys! He did so good! He did it for you guys! Can you do it again? Good turn, good turn. Can you lay down, lay down, lay down? No, lay down. Yay! Good boy! Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. You are so clever.